Welcome, you guys. Today we're playing Infliction, the extended cut uh, for the PS4. Uh, I've seen a couple trailers for it. I've seen one trailer. <laughs> and it looks kind of creepy. Um, I don't really know much. Like, I didn't really give much of what the game was about, except you're in a home, pretty sure. Um, that... I can explain. <laughs> so I tried a little bit of it um, just to get a feel for it. I didn't get too far because I, I thought, okay, it was on the PlayStation Store. It was pretty cheap. And I was like, man, what if it's just like a cheap game and it's not really all that great? Um, so I kind of just tried it first before I decided to, to play it and enjoy it with y'all. Uh, but it was just the beginning was really, really good. So I was like, okay, let me... Let me, uh, let me stop right here. This is the place between places. Here there can be only sadness and resolution. This is where the lost are found and vengeance rears its ugly head. Vengeful souls are born of violent death. Necronomicon. Abaddon, Volume 3. So, yeah. I decided I, I want to start over. I want to enjoy this with you guys. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I'm not going to skip this cutscene, but I meant to put subtitles on it. Love you too, boo. So I've already went through this whole thing. So I saw that too, and I don't know if like um, a ghost from that car is what's going to be haunting us, because there's some paranormal things going on. Alright. I'm excited for you guys to see this. Like I said, the, just the beginning was, was creepy. On the plane tickets. Alright, so you pick up flashlight. Yeah. See, and like, I don't know, it's it's pretty good quality. You can interact with a lot of things. Although I feel like a lot of things don't uh check under gameplay video to be tutorials. I don't think a lot of things really are meant for us to interact with. Oh, that's right. See, I already forgot what I was supposed to be doing. So now we went this way. And we can crouch. Okay. I'll tell you guys where I stopped at. It's so eerie, though. I think I feel like any game with with a flashlight is creepy. <laughs> and the sounds are so good too. Oh, let's you know what? Let's close that. Get in them draws, you better get a pup, eh? Hey. Look how clever our little girl is. I'm, I'm not sure exactly. She spelled E2. She can already draw better than I can. Oh, you know, I didn't realize. Is that blood? She takes after daddy, yeah? I think that's more of an insult. <laughs> so, yeah, you can literally grab, like, so many things, but like I said, I don't think a lot of it's meant for us. Wait, can we put bread in there? Where's the bread? Can we put a, a tomato in a panini? Oh, that's right, we can't grab anything.
Oh yeah, there's a lot of reading. I forgot about that. Um, there's no way I'm going to read this entire thing. So if you want to read this, just pause. It's it's a lot. Uh, but this looks like it's supposed to be a game. And like these are the instructions for it. Listen up. We got some news hot off the presses. Mr. Gary. This station has received reports that a few lighthouse keepers from Oxford Point Island Lighthouse have vanished. Alright, so our name's Gary. We like sales. And we got a wife who forgets plane tickets. And it's 1999, June 1999. That's right, there's a lot of, there's a lot of motherfucking creaking. Friday, June 4th, 415 p.m. Oh, uh, it's Mike here. I got a message earlier asking about changing the code to your security door. All you need to do is enter the code. All of the steps I've told you are the Shit, I already forgot where the code was at. I think it was in here. Bull. Bull. Hmm. New unlock moon memories in the in the main menu. I oh, see. I didn't. I didn't see that. Objective. Oh, I'm sorry. Find examine items of interest to unlock memories. If you're stuck, Sarah's journal Sarah's journal can sometimes help. Oh, okay, okay. I got you a present. She's fine. Seven. Seven. Still expect me to watch it with you. I seven. Love seven. God damn. It gives me nightmares. Gives me nightmares. Ghost yuck. Oh my god, 1999. Days where everything was on cassettes. Burnt cassettes and shit, look at that. That's cute. <laughs> Alright, um... Man, see, I'm like forgetting... Kind of other stuff. Do you, Sarah Angel Harris? Take Gary Ryan Powell to be your coffee with Gary Ryan Powell. <laughs> It's a cute little family, though. Some creepy ass mask, though. I do. That's a creepy ass mask. All right. Um, I'm pretty sure the tickets were in her room. If I'm not mistaken. I don't think there was any. I don't remember. What I did. So I remember that her room, the room we're supposed to go in. Um. Are y'all hearing that? Yeah, doll has a uh, daughter has some creepy ass dolls. Like what the fuck? <laughs> no, no, that would not be in my home. All right, ah, uh, let's let's. We're looking for, um... Oh, f fuck that. Hello? Oh yeah, she, she definitely took after me. As far as horror fans go. What a Super Nintendo can we play? Alright, um... Man, see, you're looking for the business card, but I forgot where it's at. Because the business card tells you what the code is. And I wish I remembered where it was. Oh, it might have been in here? No. These came. Do you see what I mean? It, it's creepy. It's got, a, it's got a very creepy feel. And yes, it's got a lot of old people. And yes, that grandma looks demonic, but... But his family. Oh, we can't go out there, right? 
Mm. I don't know about that. Oh, that's right. That's where the card is. That's the only reason I saw it. Zero five sixteen. Let's turn that off. All right, zero five sixteen. There wasn't really anything else of interest here, so. And I think I think it was around this time where I kind of stopped it. I just like the overall feel of everything, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna replay this because if I get too far, I'm gonna be bored. So zero, five, one, six. Yeah. As soon as I opened this, I was like, all right, we can, we can record. We have to take this. Yep. All right, so now everything from this point forward is everything I haven't seen. So we're gonna go ahead and take everything with precaution. Um, so we got the tickets. Someone kill her or did whoa okay. Mm. This is giving me um if you play shit. What is that? If you've ever played the oh, fuck. The game about the painting. You know? You know which one I'm talking about? Oh, we can't go this way? Okay. Can't go that way. Where are we supposed to go? Oh, this way. God, I can't remember the name of the painting one I'm talking about. Hey, Lene, what's that one game that we played? About the, about the painter? Oh shit, we were the fucking killer. That makes me sense. We were the car. We were the fucking car. That's kind of cool. I like how that went full circle. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta look it up because I, I gotta. It's gonna bother me. Where did I look it up on? It's loading. As soon as I as soon as I find the name, I'm gonna be like, "Fuck!" I, I knew, I should have known. Layers of fear. Fuck! I should have known that one. Layers of fear. That's what it kind of reminded me of, at least in that moment. Because if you played it, then you know. <laughs> it's the kind where like you end up finding out. I don't want to give spoilers, but it, it reminds me of that game. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, are you back in the house? Oh, we are. Find a way to vanquish the spirit. Why do we have to vanquish it? We're the one who killed her. Wait, are we dead too? Okay. So this is what the house was really looking like. Let's turn that off before I get an epilep epileptic uh, attack. <laughs> Epilepsy attack. I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say. All right. Um, this door was locked last time. It's still locked. That's okay. 
I keep hearing fucking scratching noises though. Oh, can we move this stuff? Nothing? I guess not. Alright. <coughs> Fuck. COVID. Oh, everything's locked. Alright. The hell? Who these people? Is this door locked? No, it's not. Oh, do we need to find a tape for this? Or can we press play right here? No, okay. Fuck, I didn't even check this. Don't really see anything of importance necessarily here. That's still locked. close you up oh we are dead we gotta be look like we're in the spirit world all right so we gotta vanquish the spirit but how you may ask and we're obviously playing the killer but maybe he was a possessed you know maybe you gotta give the guy the benefit of the doubt right what the fuck? Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, that's creepy. Oh. Oh, God. This one's fine, though. But that's creepy. Okay. It's... Um, it's unsettling. It's quite unsettling. House looks dirty too. It's like we're going back in time. Oh, can we turn this on? Oh. Shows nothing though. That's okay. Let's keep that off. I see a lot of uh a lot of death and godly things. Fuck, why is that so creepy to look at? Do we need batteries? No. What's through here? Aha, oh, is this door open now? No, it's not. Jesus. that noise can we grab a knife no oh fuck that tragedy has struck wasn't fall a woman was found murdered in her home she was brutally stabbed over 10 times oh my god they could say was Sarah passed Sarah managed to make a call to 911 before she succumbed to her injuries oh damn what about his two daughters? Fatal collision. Fatal collision. Probably. Isn't there two? That's you know wild, y'all. Domestic abuse ain't no joke. And the bike's there, too. So. Was that open before? I feel like it wasn't. My thoughts are dark, black as night. Life is a total absence of light when it's all over come find me there a broken soul I belong nowhere 
My hands are shaking. Maggie's gone. Bad I love this. It's just me and the monster looking inside Gary. And the beatings are getting worse and I'm running out of excuses. Damn. So I'm tired. The lady next door came over yesterday. She must have heard something. She urged me to call the police. I just can't do it. I love Gary so much. He's never got over my believing it. And he blames me. Maybe it is my fault. Is Michael like a Sunday head, maybe? Oh, he does his drink. Locked in that basement, day and night, reading those weird books. He's so unhinged now. What did I do? I can't abandon him. I'm going to dinner somewhere, and I'll be right here when he serves it again. Because this is so hard. I have to stay strong for him. That's actually really sad. Oh, no. Oh, Jill. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's chill out here. Let's calm down. Nobody. Nobody. Shit, where's my light? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, yo, this shit's eerie. Alright, uh, the basement. Where would the basement be? Sorry, I'm terrible at jump scares. If you saw my last video, if you saw my last video, then uh, it, uh, it should come to no surprise. I look in the mirror, I see only a mask, only a husk. These spirit phone calls. Spirit. You need a medical Are you still in the house? I'll be there in 30 seconds. Please stay with me. Are you still there? Oh, fuck. Yeah, but yeah, if you see my last video, then you know. I'd be getting creeped out. This leads to the outside, so it can't be this way. Wait, where do I go? Do I use this to open? Become one with the reflection. Ah. Oh. Nice. Nice. I like that. Insanity lies beyond the wall. You'll lose your soul. Um, okay, I like that. That was actually, that was nice.
So I guess I was a painter, maybe? This definitely has layers of fear vibes. Hard. Core. Layers of fear vibes. Oh, there we go. Can I pick this up? Can we can we hack the spirits of death? Oh, you know what? Michael's probably the son, and their son probably died, and this is him trying to resurrect him. Maybe? Oh, the spells contained within this book are your path with a power beyond your human ability to imagine. For once you learn the intricacies of wielding such power, the book and the rights within will no longer be needed. Your body and soul will become a conduit for the darkness. Dark power and energy will be transferred through you into an object focused on a task. You will give direction to those energies their agent on this plane of existence. That does not mean this book should be taken lightly. Its contents are dangerous and should be and should always be treated with respect. Oh god, this is a lot to read. Uh... Okay. Angry spirits are born in violent death. These souls are bound to the world in flesh until they are ready to let go of their retribution or have achieved it. There exists one ritual that can be performed by, uh, by the one to which the spirit is bound. So me, right? I killed her in violent spirit, or in violent death, I guess. The ritual can be performed in the world of specters or flesh, but must be performed by one, by the one directly responsible for the demise of the angry spirit. It will open the way to where the spirit truly belongs, offering peace. To complete this ritual, I got like really quiet for a second. <laughs> You'll, uh, you'll need to gather the following objects to belong, uh, belong to the angry spirit. Body of the deceased, image of the deceased, clothing worn in the eyes of God, an object, um, of ancestral significance, any part of the remains. Once collected, cleanse the objects with fire and spread the ash over the site where they were slain. Okay. Oh. Hello? Hello? Okay, so we just gotta get a few things. It's no big, it's no biggie. Whoa. Back to the light, go back to the light. Hey, where you at, girl? Please don't, please don't make me come that way, sir. Fuck, I can't see shit. Where's my light? So we're just moving in fucking total. Oh! Nope! Nope! Hey, let's go. No! Stop! supposed to do ah my chest <laughs> you're about to watch a live heart attack <laughs> what was I supposed to do should I just keep going straight I did kind of go back didn't I oh fuck. I think I think all my trash eating and my unhealthy habits have thickened up my veins and uh, these kinds of scares aren't good for me fuck though So are we starting over then? A woman was found murdered in her home. Oh. Oh. Managed to make a call to or not? Is that the end of the game? Oh, okay, we do have to start over. Right? Oh. 
Oh wait, no. Find some of her remains. Oh, oh. Come on. Tell me this isn't like layers of fear. They gotta be the same creators. Watch it, it probably is, and, I, and I'm over here being dumb by not knowing. Okay, okay, okay. I am very much happy um, that I picked this game up. Um, hmm. Okay, I think for now I'm gonna stop right here. If it is like Layers of Fear, then it's gonna be one of those things where once you find what you need, it's kind of re it's gonna reset you back into this room, uh, which I kind of like that format a little bit because it's almost like you're going to the same place, but it's kind of resetting things enough that it's almost like playing a new, it's a new experience every time. So uh, we're gonna stop right here because I really like this game and I want to take my time with it. Um, but if you guys truly enjoy it as well, and if you guys like Layers of Fear and you guys kind of see the same vibe, painting, right? Paint stuff related shit. <laughs> um, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, I'll be putting part two up really soon. So I will watch you guys. Or I'm sorry. I will not be watching you guys. <laughs> um, you'll be watching me. If you decide to continue watching and uh, my scary ass but thank you guys again just for even being here if you clicked in and if you were skipping through that's fine too I'm just trying to I'm just trying to grow my audience you know what I mean I just want to make a YouTube channel become famous no I'm just kidding uh, I, I really do this because I love these kind of games and I just want to I don't know record myself I don't know I'm lollygagging now thank you guys for watching subscribe hit that like button tune in on the next one and i'll see you then deuces